I'm an intuitive eater. Veganism is healthy. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, today we're going to react to the vegan view. Why you might ask? No idea. They just did a taste test. Let's have a look. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode Hello. of The Vegan View. So today we are coming at you with yet another Trader Joe's taste test. Let's start with this one, the Vegan Meatless Meat Eaters Pizza. The Vegan Meatless Meat Eaters Pizza. Yeah, well, that is a tongue twister, but absolutely rational and logical. If you are a vegan, which should imply vegetables. You are definitely seeking something that is meatless, but tastes exactly like meat. Yes. Because it's a fully loaded plant-based pizza with meatless pepperoni style slices, meatless Italian sausage style crumbles, meatless chorizo sausage style crumbles, and vegan mozzarella shreds. <laughs> yes, all of those words create emotions within you, especially the meatless, I'm sure. Yes. yes. Oh my God. Yeah. The meat was lovers was everything. Definitely. The sausage. I love the sausage on pizza. Yeah, it's definitely one of my favorites. Okay. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm this is what Super excited. Like. Me too. It didn't melt completely, but we were doing it in a toaster oven, so it may be different if we did it in a full oak oven. <laughs> mm. yes. It's actually fantastic. It reminds me of my vegan days. I found a vegan cheese, and on the vegan cheese, it stated this actually melts. Yes, this is how crappy vegan cheese is. It is just plant oil gunk. It is simply plastic. This is why they have to make sure that some of them actually do melt. It is absolutely disgusting. Those ladies, of course, want cheese. Cheers. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Loki, I would eat this every day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. I think the pepperoni is really good. Mm -hmm. It's convincing as well. Mm. Mm -hmm. The sausage tastes just like our Mm. And this is a really good frozen dough too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, about, <laughs> so about the meat lovers, meatless pizza, all you have to say is that the dough is good. I'll rest my case. I don't have anything to say because it's so good. Mm -hmm. Trader Joe's, you did it again. Mm -hmm. I think if you're new to being vegan and you're looking for something to replace that with, this oh, is man. a great alternative. I always say like, don't think in that mentality of like, oh, I'm going to replace all my favorites. But I do think like there's certain things that are nostalgic. And mm -hmm. if you really feel like you're craving like a meaty pizza, this is going to hit the spot for sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you feel you're craving a meaty pizza, or let's just say meat, then this hits the spot. If your body signalizes that it wants real meat, you're going to give him fake meat. And then you're gonna say, I'm an intuitive eater. Veganism is healthy. How come that you're still craving meat? Guys, you're completely delusional. You're completely delusional and brainwashed by social media. No human being that has no access to social media would ever come to the conclusion that it is a good idea to remove all the animal foods. No healthy, sane human being would ever come to the conclusion that it is a good idea to malnourish yourself. And no healthy, mentally adequate human being would ever come to the idea that it is a good idea to then replace those foods with processed gunk. Wow. Even the crust, like for a frozen pizza, mm -hmm. it's like nice and fluffy. The only thing I would add is more meat. <laughs> yeah. Because it's so good. <laughs> More yeah, sausage. I more, feel like more pepperoni. Uh, yeah. At least you're honest. That's always an issue with the frozen pizzas is there's not enough mm -hmm. of the toppings. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They just need to do more sausage, more pepperoni. Well, the sauce is good. More the sausage. Is okay, but I I would probably I don't know I feel like there's better vegan cheeses out there. I feel like Trader Joe's just doesn't. They don't always like hit it with vegan cheese. Oh it's man. Not Let's get one thing straight. Pizza is and was the ultimate peasant food. Every single time when the peasants didn't have enough animal foods, because that's the only thing that was considered real food, then they would have pizza. They would make a base out of dough, out of wheat, which they usually would avoid, and then they would stack it with what was left over. Some meat, a little bit of cheese, 
just to get by. Obviously, if they would have the choice, they would rather eat a steak. But pizza entered our culture, we grew accustomed to liking it, and now we get to the next level. Not only are we eating peasant food to begin with, but now we're gonna replace the <laughs> last precious real food on the pizza with fake food as well. Bravo! I could see some people being like, oh, I don't like that texture. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think for the cheese, honestly, the way it looked was more off-putting than how it tastes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's not melted, which is what you would expect. Imagine it. saying that about real food. <laughs> Nobody ever would. I think it is their, their <laughs> mozzarella shreds probably that they sell mm -hmm. separately. So if you like those, then you'll definitely like it. Mm -hmm. That's bomb. I mean, I it. I'm gonna give that a nine and a half out of 10, just leaving that 0.5 for, you know, a better cheese option, but everything else is so good, I wouldn't change a thing. I'm gonna give it- Yeah, just give it half a point minus because cheese isn't really important on a pizza, is it? 8.75, I just want- <laughs> I just want some more meat on there, but it's really delicious and I will definitely be purchasing this for my freezer. Definitely. I think I would give it a 9 out of 10. Uh, you want some more meat on there, but still you're gonna buy it. Why? Where's the logic in that? Why don't you buy some meat if you want some meat? Same thing. More sausage, more pepperoni, <laughs> maybe a different cheese that melts a little more, but I will- <laughs> So maybe more meat and maybe real cheese. Definitely buy this again. Good job, Trader Joe's. <laughs> Yay! Off yeah, great job. So these are the organic veggie bites and they're organic vegetables and sometimes it's cut off right there so I can't see. I guess they're just veggie balls, veggie bites. Yeah, they've almost- So how does it matter if it is organic or not? It is just some parade vegetables and then batter it. This is kind of nice, I think, if, uh, well, hopefully we'll see if it tastes good, but if you don't want to have like the fake chicken, fake meat, you know, mm -hmm. this is veggies. Cheers. Cheers. This is so adorable though, I can't get angry. Those ladies simply do not know what they're doing to their bodies. The sunflower seeds were throwing me off a bit because they're adding like a, a different texture. Everything else yeah. is so mushy and then the sunflower seeds are kind of crunchy. I they're, like it, but... They're gluten-free, so that's good. Uh -huh. They are done. I feel like this is a good little healthy little snack. They kind of remind me of like tater tots, but with no potato, just a bunch of veggies and stuff. I wonder if, if this would be a good thing to give to kids mm -hmm. because oh, yeah. it's like packed yeah. with veggies, but it tastes almost like a tater tot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like you could literally dip this in ketchup and mm -hmm. it would give you that same like tater tot vibe. Mm -hmm. yeah. But definitely yeah. so much better than a tater tot because it's like you cook these in the air fryer too and then there's, mm -hmm. you know, you're not frying them. And... I think I was going to say I wish it was like a little more flavorful, but I would dip this in ketchup or like hot sauce or something mm -hmm. and I think that would add the flavor that I'm looking mm -hmm. for. Ooh, or some spicy. <laughs> mm -hmm. Definitely. Mm -hmm. You get like actual chunks of veggies like there's like a full mm -hmm. piece of broccoli in there i like that a lot actually wow. i'm gonna give that like an eight and a half okay so why is it good for kids why is it healthy why? Just because you've been told that certain vegetables are healthy for you, no matter how you get them in, right? Just get some broccoli and put it into a capsule next time and swallow it because it is so, so healthy. Now you better this, you fry it, air fryer or not, doesn't matter. Essentially, you're trying to hide the taste. Why do you try to hide the taste? Why do vegetables taste horrific to children? Could it be that those children simply do not know what is healthy and what not? Sure, first we need to indoctrinate those children. First we need to tell them what is healthy. They have no intuition. Are you eating your dinner? Eat your dinner. Oh, you're hiding your broccoli? But you'll eat your chicken. Baby tigers, baby lions, baby monkeys in nature, they do not know what is good for them. Man, we are all born with an intuition and is being destroyed by media. It's being destroyed by our society. This is why we end up like this. This is why you ladies believe some fried parade mush of vegetables that you would never find anywhere else but in your supermarket is a healthy choice for children. Absolutely terrible. Definitely buy these again and just like keep them on hand. Like I feel like sometimes it's hard to get in vegetables. So if you're like me and you have a hard yeah. time getting vegetables in. This has carrots, celery, <laughs> onions, sweet potatoes. So you don't like vegetables, but you are a vegan. All you eat is vegetables on some level or the other. Only because you process it and package it doesn't make it meat. Do you understand? You hate your food. Me, as a meat eater, I love my food. 
I love it. I love ribs. I love burgers. I love steaks. I love tartar. I love meat, raw or cooked or grilled. I love meat. It is delicious. I don't have to hide my meat. I love it. You, on the other hand, call yourself a vegan, but you hate vegetables. So you take vegetables. Excuse me. Companies take vegetables and process them into gunk that you can then fry in order to enjoy your food. Wow! Kale, broccoli, tomatoes, brown rice flour, sunflower seeds, and then you know a few other seasonings. Oh, they're packed. Yeah. <laughs> he packed. I feel like an ape. And it's a little mushy. Mm -hmm. Maybe if it was a little more like crispy. Yeah. 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 On the inside too, though, it's like. I think it's really great for kids. Mm -hmm. That's what you think. Why do you think that? You don't even like it. Snack for people who just need like their veggies. For kids, I'll give it a 10 out of 10. Who are those people that just need their veggies? A 10. For me, I'll give it a 7 and a half. Give it a minus 100. We all know what you're thinking. 7 and a half. So next up, <clears throat> we have a tofu scramble with soy chorizo. It's got vegetables, chunky scrambled tofu, soy chorizo, and vegan chicken. It looks like a toy. Style shreds. On first look, there's like chunks of kale in here. Yeah. For like yeah. a frozen breakfast thing. Like, yeah. I'm impressed. Mm, it smells, really mm, smells bomb. Why are you impressed? Ah! Again, you ladies. Ah, you have zero nutritional understanding. And listen, I'm not mad. I know that this is the state of our society. I can't expect that everybody understands nutrition. But what makes me mad, to an extent, is that you guys have been brainwashed, that you guys are victims, and now you're creating more victims of your brainwashing. You have no idea what you talk about. Kale is absolutely toxic. So why are you happy that there is kale in your food? Why? You don't understand why. The only reason why you say this is because somebody told you on social media, in the TV, that kale is healthy. Not even goats nor sheep will go anywhere near kale. It is absolutely toxic. It will destroy your health. So, at first I was a little worried looking at it with the cheese on top. It mm -hmm. looked a little plasticky, but it's actually super tasty. No, the mm. cheese is good with mm -hmm. it. Mm. Mm, the cheese is really good. Put a little, <laughs> put a little hot sauce on there, a little salsa <laughs> oh, yeah. on there. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm. It, it doesn't even need it though. That's the thing. It's like so flavorful and yeah. I'm really glad that they like definitely seasoned the tofu. You know, sometimes when you get a, a tofu scramble at like a restaurant and it's yeah. like, th that's like their vegan option is a tofu scramble and you're like, geez, like could they at least put like- Yeah, fantastic. But in the end, again, what are you trying to do? You essentially try to recreate scrambled eggs. That's all. Instead of eating free range organic eggs, no, you cannot do that. You have to eat plastic food. You have to eat plastic chorizo, plastic soy slop tofu. For what? Why do you do this to yourself? All on it, yeah. like it's like Little there's, no, there's yeah. no seasonings on it, and it's just like very bland. There's a proper amount of seasonings on it. Like when I make it at home, I put like cumin and paprika, mm -hmm. yeah. like all the things, mm -hmm. and you can tell that they had that in this. Normally, with yeah, you have to put all of this onto your food because it tastes terrible. Frozen stuff like this, I'm always wanting to add salt and pepper mm -hmm. and anything saucy because it's super dry. Mm -hmm. But this is actually <laughs> fine on its own. Like, if you do runny eggs. They're not super dry. Hmm. Yeah, it's really good. So good. 10 out of 10 for me. Mm -hmm. I was going to say 10 out of 10. There's nothing I would do to make it better. I would definitely, definitely keep this in my freezer for like, you know, those mornings where you're running late and you know you need to eat something hearty. Mm -hmm. This will definitely fill you up and satisfy you. Eight and a half. Good job, True Joe. Wow. Just a side note. I'm not convinced that they're full vegans anyways, especially not that one here in the middle. Looks still too healthy. I assume they're simply show vegans peppers and onions and mm -hmm. uh, it's really good the mm. cheese is just like my favorite part yeah, yeah <laughs> i really i mean trader joe's why are we not selling that cheese <laughs> i was just gonna ask are, do they have that cheddar like in a bag maybe they do we just haven't seen it yeah maybe so good so good another gluten-free option so good all right guys and this is it way too long i think i got my point across it is always the same scenario years and years after quitting veganism people still fall into this trap it is mind-boggling to see that those people are so removed from their food 
When I was a vegan, I of course did it wrong as well, but at least I tried to eat whole foods. I was eating all kinds of whole grains, all kinds of beans, fruits, vegetables in their whole state, all of it because I considered myself a vegan that eats vegetables. But nowadays all you see, they are starving for meat, they hate vegetables, they call themselves vegan because somebody told them it's the right thing to do. Alright guys, but this is it. If you liked the video, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please do so. And if you want to support this channel, all the links are in the description box below. Thank you so much for your support. And as always, may God bless you all. Much love and peace.